In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a super simple water culture system that only needs a few components. I'm talking a couple buckets with lids, a couple net cups, a pump, a couple air stones, and some tubing. So if you're ready, let's get started. You're going to need a couple buckets, a couple lids, a couple air stones, a couple two inch net cups, a two inch hole saw for your drill. If you don't have a hole saw or a drill, you can use a razor blade or something like that. But my recommendation, if you're going to be doing hydroponic gardening, invest in a cheap hole saw kit. It makes life so much easier. So moving on, you're going to need an air pump and tubing. So the first thing that I need to do is pull this sticker off the bucket lid so I can see the center line of the bucket right there. Now that the holes for the net cups are drilled, we need to drill a hole in each lid for the air line. And to do that, I use a quarter inch drill bit because it is roughly the same diameter as quarter inch tubing. So when I drill this hole, I'm going to drill it halfway between the edge of the bucket and the center of the net cup. So about right here. What that does is it makes sure that the air stone is blowing the air on all sides of the stone. You don't want it to be right up against the side of the bucket because it makes the stone less efficient. Then I'll just do a little test fit. Yep. So it doesn't bind on the air line, but it's not going to let much light in and that'll keep down any algae formation inside the bucket. Now that I've got both holes for the air lines drilled, I need to go ahead and figure out how much tubing I need for each bucket. To do that, I'm going to feed the air line down into the bucket until it hits the bottom of the bucket. And then I'm just going to put a little more tubing down to make sure that it reaches the air pump. Once I know I have enough tubing, I'll go ahead and cut the tubing and then we're ready. I'll go ahead and do this one more time for the other bucket. And then we'll be ready to test fit the air stones, make sure everything's how we want it. Then I'll clean out the buckets and mix some nutrients and get some plants put in these. Now that I've got the bucket cleaned out, I'll flip the lid back and attach the air stone right on to the tubing. And the last thing that you want to do to get your system set up is just slide the air line onto the fitting on the air pump and you're good to go. One thing that I would recommend is adding a little check valve right here in line between the air pump and the bucket. What that check valve does is make sure that water doesn't backfill this line and damage your pump. So now that we've got the system assembled, let's go ahead and take it inside and put some plants in it. When you add water to the bucket, make sure you add just enough that the bottom of the net cup touches the water. In case you haven't watched my other videos, I've got a really bad habit of leaving plants in their starter trays way too long. That's exactly what I did with these orange hat tomatoes from Baker Creek Heirloom Seed Company. They're perfect for a small system like this because they only grow 6 to 9 inches tall and they produce a ton of little orange tomatoes. The last thing that I'm going to do is raise the air pump off the ground so it doesn't get wet if one of the buckets leaks. If you're just getting started on your hydroponic journey, head over to my website and get a copy of my free First Grow Cheat Sheet. This cheat sheet includes everything you need to have a successful First Grow, including step-by-step -step weekly instructions, templates for building your first hydroponic system, and shopping lists that cover everything you need to get started. There's a link to the cheat sheet in the description. I hope this video showed you that hydroponic systems don't have to be elaborate. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like this kind of content, subscribe to my channel. If you've got a question about anything in the video, ask it in the comments. If you're interested in these tomatoes, I'll do an update in a couple weeks. 
Links to all the equipment I used are in the description. That's all I've got, so I'll see you next time.